break at this time. All other devices are supported on 10.2, including the iPads and the iPod Touch. So let's jump in. All right, so down below, I will link you guys to three websites. First one, IPSW.me. This is where you guys can see if iOS 10.2 is still being signed, if you can update or downgrade to it. So for me, I have a 6S. In case I wanted to downgrade to 10.2 from 10.2.1 or 10.3, basically jump in here and you will see 10.2 is still being signed. If this is red, then you cannot get to that firmware anymore. Now, if you have an iPhone 7 on 10.2.1 or 10.3, I would downgrade to 10.2. That is Luca Tedesco's actual recommendation, so it might receive a jailbreak in the future on that firmware. So if you do end up downloading that, go ahead and plug your device in. And this is for the people that aren't on 10.2 that wanna get there. I mean, just a quick little overview of how to do that. Basically, jump into iTunes, Let's go into your device settings, hold option on a Mac and left click update, shift on Windows and left click update, and uh, go ahead and select the firmware 10.2. Now, whether or not you're updating or downgrading, same process, uh, you can update to it and keep most of your data intact. It will begin to go ahead and downgrade or update, but I'm not gonna do that because I am already on 10.2. So once again, verify you are on 10.2 and now visit two websites in the description. So cydiaimpactor.com, basically download your version, uh, and uh, we're gonna be using this tool to install the jailbreak, and Yalu, uh, Luca Tedesco's website, go ahead and download the IPA file right here. This is beta seven currently. He said that this is just about the stable, most final version. So this is why I waited this long to make this video. I wanted to make sure you guys were getting the best outcome possible with this jailbreak. And uh, we're gonna run Cydia Impactor. All right, so with that plugged in, let's go ahead and take the beta seven IPA and drag it into Cydia Impactor. Now go ahead and log in with your iTunes Apple ID. You don't have anything to worry about here. This information isn't being shared with anyone. All right, so with your information in, go ahead and click enter and it will begin jailbreaking your device. So in a moment here, we should see uh, Kim Jong-un on our device and that's Yalu 102, so or 10.2. All right, so go ahead and click on it. Well, this is what you'll get. So let's jump into settings, uh, general. We basically need to trust the profile profiles and device management, and go ahead and trust this one up here, or this one down here, trust. All right, we are good to go. So go ahead and open up this, and in here, just go ahead and click go. So essentially, every time you turn your device off or the battery dies, you'll need to jump into this app and click go once again, and it will just restart your device and get the jailbreak working. Now, it may take a couple tries in some cases, just leave it, and your device should reboot on its own. That's completely normal, part of the jailbreak. And in a second here, we should reboot with Cydia on our device. And uh, every time you redo this, it'll get Cydia working again, because every time you reboot, Cydia will crash until you do this, just to, to make you guys aware. And for the people wondering if this does void warranty, indeed it does, until you can disable the jailbreak. So uh, if you ever need your warranty back, you can turn off the jailbreak and go into the store, just hide it like in a folder or something. I've heard that works for some people. Anyways, so you should see Cydia. If you don't, repeat the process as many times as it takes, but it should work on the first or second try. And jumping into Cydia, you guys are now fully jailbroken. Mobile Substrate has been enabled on this version, so all of your tweaks will begin working immediately. I actually have a couple of videos on those already. I'll be releasing more. And um, yeah, you guys are jailbroken. It was that simple. The only thing you guys need to know is that this uh, little icon or this app will stop working after seven days. Unless you're a developer, it will work indefinitely. But every seven days when it stops working, you guys will need to repeat this process. Not a big deal, but does take like two to three minutes. So just to make you guys aware of that. Otherwise, you guys are done. This is the jailbreak running on your device. And uh, hold on to it, guys. I'm serious. This may be the last jailbreak for a very long time. So enjoy it. Go install some tweaks. Enjoy this, guys. You've been waiting so long. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to get to some of them. But overall, there it is. It's a pretty stable jailbreak, better than 10.1.1. Uh, if you guys are on the iPhone 7, again, 